Like many other youths of their time, Shippo had a dream of seeing Namibia free from the yoke of colonialism. This has prompted him to go into exile in 1974 at a tender age of 17. He spent his entire youth in pursuit of freedom and independence. After independence, Shippo served the public in different capacities. He was the first permanent secretary in the Ministry of Works and Transport. Later, he was moved to the ministries of youth and sports as well as that of justice. Dr. Shippo also became managing director of Trans Namib. Former President Hifike Punye Pohamba commended him for his immense contributions towards nation building. Founding President Sam Nyoma described him as a fearless freedom fighter, diplomat, and veteran of the liberation struggle. Prime Minister Saraku Gongo remembered Shippo as a committed person who dealt with different tasks assigned to him with higher professionalism. In a message of condolence read on his behalf, the head of state, President Hage Genkop, who conferred Shippo an official funeral, described him as a dedicated patriot who served Namibia with distinction in many areas, both during the time of the liberation struggle and after independence. Therefore, as we gather here to, to remember the life of our dearly departed compatriots and comrades, Dr. Titus Bengonjabishipo, we take solace that although our hearts are laden with sadness through this memorial, we can ensure that the legacy and his life, which was well lived, shall not be forgotten. His children said they had a great relationship with their father, and his departure left a huge gap in their lives. But what we do know is that no matter the status of that relationship, we all know that an excellent father does right by his children. It is with no exception that I have to say that this is the relationship that we had with our father. Dr. Shippo is survived by his wife and four children. Donatania Imbori, NBC News.